On March 25th, President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered the National Treasury to move to Parliament and enact a raft of changes to tax laws, including relief on both value-added tax as the government sought to shield the economy from the adverse impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. In a televised address to the nation, President Kenyatta said, in recognition of the extraordinary nature of this global tragedy and its enormous local effect, and conscious of the solemn duty of the government to guarantee the enjoyment of social, civil and economic rights, my administration has made and will continue to make targeted state interventions to caution every Kenyan from shocks arising from COVID-19. End of quote. Consequently, Kenyans earning below 24,000 Kenya shillings are expected to see a 100% tax relief on all of their pay as you earn upon the ascent of the Act of Parliament into law. Additionally, employees with gross salaries above 24,000 Kenya shillings are expected to see a 5% relief on their pay as you earn as the rate of the monthly charge levy goes down to 25% from the initial 30%. Small and medium enterprises are said to be spared from the higher taxes in the relief packages as the rate of turnover tax drops from 3% to 1%. The threshold to turnover tax has similarly changed with MPs raising the minimum bar for payment to an annual turnover of a million Kenya shillings and a lift to the maximum limit to 50 million shillings. The rate of tax on residents' income is also expected to be revised down by 5% from an initial 30%, providing cover to firm on their earnings charges. Last week, MPs had separately adopted proposed changes to VAT, which brought the rate down by 12.5% to 14% from an original 16%, ratifying Treasury's legal notice on the change passed on April 1st. Reporting for Ebro TV. I'm kind of Stefano.